it's not shocking for all of us because the opinion polls leading to the elections have also predicted that he will win in one round because um, more than 50% of the uh, voters have said that before this that they will vote for Prabowo and Gibran. Yeah. So we've, we've, we have this ticket now. Um, what are the priorities for his government going to be? He has said uh, multiple times that he will continue all of uh, President Joko Widodo's programs, including uh, the downstream policy in which the nation bans the exports of raw critical minerals. And also, um, he will also continue with the building of the new capital in Borneo. And I think like we're also going to see like the continuity of uh, getting China's investments in the country. Yeah. And that's such a good point that you make. China has sometimes tested the relationship. How might China now, do you think, view this new administration? I think, like, in terms of economy, Prabowo will do exactly what Joko Widodo has done, which is uh, getting more Chinese investments, um, because he believes that um, China is also, like, the key to get Indonesia to advance to the next level. But I think in terms of defense, because Prabowo is close to the United States, I think he will try to increase that relationship um, in terms of defense. And I think we will see that Prabowo is going to be more stronger in terms of rhetoric in the international communities in terms of dealing with the South China Sea conflict. And um, I think that's what makes him different than President Joko Widodo, because President Joko Widodo has been more like uh, lenient towards China's assertiveness in the region. But I think with Prabowo, we'll see like much more stronger rhetoric. Yeah. That doesn't always work with China, though, does it? Yeah, I think when it, uh, if we see the Philippines as an example, like we see that China is not going to be bothered by uh, whoever is leading the countries in Southeast Asia, and that I think like China will do as it please. Yes, indeed. How much of a hand do you think Jokowi is going to have in this new administration, given it it really had his imprimatur, didn't it? I think Jokowi is going to play a big role and he's going to be instrumental in the making of uh, Prabowo's uh, cabinet. I think that Jokowi is now the new kingmaker in the country. I think he has defeated even the old guards of the country's political elites. By winning the first round, I think Jokowi Dodo can say to Prabowo that, hey, without me, you are nothing. So. You are going to stick to the plan that we have made and you are going to continue with my programs and to basically keep him in place. Uh, Prabowo will have Gibran Rakabuming, his son, as the new vice president-elect to actually remind Prabowo that, hey, you win the first round because of the popularity of my father, the President Joko Widodo. And, and, you know, I'm really interested in terms of how much of a role Jokowi's son is going to play in, the, in, the, in this administration. How, how powerful is it going to be? I think that given the fact that Prabowo is the president and Gibran is now the vice president-elect, I think Prabowo will delegate the matter of Jakarta and the administration to um, Gibran and also all the political powers and the place that um, actually happening in Jakarta instead of the new capital. The new capital will be the focus of Prabowo. So I think uh, Gibran has his eyes on Jakarta and Prabowo will handle the matters in the new capital. And also in terms of the political party, I think Gibran will look for a new political party to basically consolidate the power uh, that the Joko Widodo's family has now. Yeah. So do you think Gibran is really looking to the next presidential election to, to then put himself forward, so he's going to want to make a mark? Yeah, because we heard now in Jakarta there's a wild rumour that Prabowo has a declining health, so he's only going to be president for only two years. But I think Prabowo tried to, like, tame that rumour by swimming for an hour after the election yesterday. <laughs> and the campaign team just, like, shows that, like, hey, look, Prabowo is swimming for an hour, so he's in a good fit. So, yeah, I think Gibran is, like, trying to... Um, time this time this uh, rumor that like oh no we are going to be vice president and president and nobody's going to replace Prabowo in two years time but I think all the rumors we do those critics have said that like 
Gibran and Widodo will be in the box in the box seat will be in the hot seat uh, once Prabowo shows that he his health is actually declining so it's going to be interesting in the next few years yes and it's going to be interesting because Prabowo is you know he's been a fiery character in the past so it'll be interesting as they test that relationship go uh, going forward I think Prabowo is like has try to change his character from like this fiery military man who has been barred by the United States and Australia from entering the country for two decades and now becoming like this TikTok character. Like even in the venue last night, like he was dancing and he mentioned, he gave a shout out to Suharto and all the crowd in the venue actually cheer at the mention of Suharto. So I think like uh, the history has been revision in Indonesia and the young people, they actually either no longer care about the state of democracy, but they want to have like a strong leader uh, and they want to have like someone with the um, uh, characteristic as Prabowo to see like whether he can actually take the next con uh, the country to the next step. Yeah, which is really important. And, and in your mind, do you think people are happy with their lives or do they still want more? I mean, the fact that Jokowi was still so popular suggests they were quite content with the direction the country's going in. The political and economy atmosphere here is stable under Jokowi's stand leadership, but it's because we don't have opposition. Jokowi is trying to approach the opposition into his big coalition, and I think that's what Prabowo is going to do too. But in terms of democracy, law enforcement, that's for people who actually care. That's how people who are politically literate. But for people in the grassroots, people in general, as long as they can eat, as long as they can have jobs, that's what they care about. So I think that's what Prabowo knows, and that's what the team has been um, emphasizing during the campaign trail, that he will continue with Jokowi's economy um, stability and political stability. Good to talk, Resty, as always. Thanks so much. Thanks, Beth.